Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'm going to show you how to create that split open footage effect in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and right now I have some footage in my timeline that we're going to use to create that split open effect. We could create it directly on the clip but right now we're going to use an adjustment clip so you can easily save it and reuse it from your power bin. So I have my footage on track one and I have that adjustment clip on track two. Now we can go over to Fusion. In Fusion, we're gonna start by selecting all media in one, just copy it and paste it. Then we're gonna link that second media in to our first media in. Then we're gonna just bring a mask in and link the output of that mask to our first media in. Here, I'm gonna put the width at one, the height at one, and I'm gonna click invert. We're gonna then copy that rectangular mask and paste an instance. Then in this instance, the only thing we're gonna do is going over to invert, right clicking on it, and then here we're gonna de-instance it and untick invert. So the only difference between those two rectangle is that one is inverted and the other one isn't inverted. So then we're gonna link the output of that instance mask to our second media in. So now essentially we've created two parts of our footage. If I move here that mask, as you can see, we have this media in with the instance that is covering the right side. And then we have the exact same thing here with the first media in and this rectangle for the left side. Now we're gonna bring two transform node to displace them. So I'm gonna just select my first media in one, hit shift space on my keyboard and search for a transform node and bring that in. Then we're gonna do the same thing here with our second media in. We're gonna hit shift space on the keyboard and search for the transform node again and bring it in. Now, if I bring my media out to the viewer, as you can see, we have basically those two creating one and same clip. But now if we displace here the transform, as you can see, we can just split open that footage. Now we could keyframe those two transform individually, but there is an easiest way to link them together using an expression. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So first off, I'm just gonna pin here my transform one and then pin my transform two, just so they stay at all time in the inspector and I can easily reference the two nodes. Here, I'm just gonna reset those value to zero five. And now let me quickly explain you the expression that we're gonna be writing. Basically what I want is that when here, in my transform one, the value is at 0 0.4, for example. I then want the value of the transform two to go in the opposite direction, so going at 0 0.6. So basically, if we're removing 0 0.1 on transform one, we'll be adding 0 0.1 on the transform two. To do that, we're gonna be using a simple expression on the transform two. So here, I'm just gonna reset the value again, and I'm gonna just right click on the center, select expression, then here it bring 0 0.10505. Here I want to change those value for one. So here that's going to be point open parenthesis one, then comma, and then one and end the parenthesis. Then here we're just going to make space plus another space, open parenthesis. And now we're going to write the value from the transform one, but minus. So here I'm just going to put minus and then write the name of my node. So in that case, that's transform one, period, and then the value of that node. So transform one, period, center, and close the parentheses. And now basically, if I change the value here of the X, as you can see, is doing the opposite here on transform two. So if I'm reducing to 0 0.4, right now, my transform two is going to 0 0.6. So now we're just gonna be animating this value. So I'm just gonna double click on it to reset it. We're gonna start our animation here at frame 15. We're gonna drop a keyframe here on the center. And then we're gonna go to frame 30. And then we're gonna change our center for 0 0.3. As you can see, it's just creating that animation, but the animation is not very smooth. So here, I'm just gonna reduce a bit my inspector and open the spline editor. We're gonna then select here or transform one toggle the transform one displacement so we can see all point click zoom to fit so we can see all those points select the two point hit s on our keyboard to smooth out that curve then hit t to bring the ease in and ease out and increase the ease in to about 85. and now we have a smooth split open animation you can always make some adjustment here in the position so we can go back to the rectangle and then here we can adjust the position of that opening. So we can just put it here to the side, for example, if we wanted to add text within that, and then here leave that area untouched. 
Another thing you can do is adjusting here the corner radius. So right now we have a straight line, but if we're adjusting here the corner radius, we can get a circle look. And now the last thing we have to do is just bring in here a background. So I'm just gonna bring my background in, disconnect here my shadow from the media out, and then connect the shadow to the background one. And then we can just connect that merge to all media out. Right now our background is just black, but we're just gonna go over to solid color, and then we're gonna switch to gradient and then here I'm gonna choose red and then here I'm gonna select my white point and I'm gonna select purple. Now I can just take the gradient point and displace them as I want. So like that, I'm happy with this. Now we could continue to create the text title in the Fusion page. I have a lot of other videos about that, but right now we're just gonna go back to the edit page and simply use some template that we already have here from our free starter pack. The cool thing is that now you can easily reuse that effect. So you can just save it to your power bin. To save it to your power bin, you can just go to your media pool. And then here in your power bin, you can just drag that adjustment clip to whichever folder you like. And now if I were to bring another clip here in my timeline, just making sure that it's filling up the frame and bringing that adjustment clip and dragging it right there onto this clip. As you can see, we've just created the same effect in a few clicks. If you don't know about power bins, I will just link to a video in the description below where I talk a bit more in depth about it and I tell you how to use them. But basically now we have our final effect. I can just go to the free starter pack and just select whatever uh, title I want and drag them here in that box. So here I'm just gonna go with this one, for example. I'm gonna just adjust the position, reduce a bit the size. Now I'm just gonna line up here the animation of that box with or opening animation. So I'm just gonna go here to this frame and yep, it's matching properly. Now we can play it. If you want here to adjust the color of the background to match the color of your footage, you can always go back to the Fusion page, then here go to background and select some color that are available here in your clip. So here, for example, we're gonna go with this brownish and then here we're gonna go with the blue slash green. And now if we go back to the edit page, it's just matching a bit more of footage. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you'd like to see next. And see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.